issues. Right, there are a lot of kids, as you know, in this city who, if we don't do something for them, there's nothing for them. Um, so we're thankful for the Sixers, for Virtua, and definitely for the Crocs for giving their donations so we have a place like this um, to serve kids and families. On three, Sixers! One, two, three, Sixers! My favorite part about this is getting sweaty, crossing over these little kids, swatting these shots. You know, that's the best part, being a big kid with these kids and having a good time and making memories and, uh, you know, running into these kids later and I'm saying, hey, you're the guy from the Sixers. I'm like, yeah, you're the kid from the camp. Yeah, what's up? How you been? You know, that's that's what this is about. So that's my favorite part, you know, crossing these kids' ankles over. One, two, you know, a kid goes for a shot, just, ah! Stop that! You know, teaching these kids, no easy buckets. Get that out of here. That's my favorite part. I just want to be here, support you guys, because that's the most important thing. I played basketball when I was in school. It taught me a lot of lessons that I use now. There's a lot of kids in school right now. You guys are taking the time out while you're not in school to perfect your craft. So I just want you guys to put your hands together for yourself right now. Because you might be working hard while some of the kids are sleeping. How do you think Michael Jordan got to be that good? He worked when other people didn't work. How do you think I got on the radio? I work when other people did not work. So I want you guys to go home today and know that you gotta work all the time and you gotta work hard. And I know that's why you came here today. So I'm here to support you guys while you do that, okay? Don't, don't, don't ever let anybody tell you that because you're from Camden, that you can't do it, you can't succeed. Because all of you here, you will be the next mayor. You will be the next God of Neil. You will be the next president of the United States. So dream big and never give up on yourself. Well, of course, my favorite part is so far as the beginning when, you know, that rally really getting the kids amped up um, and really getting them going. Um, because after that, it just kind of sets the tone for the rest of the day. And uh, now that the kids are doing activities, you know, they're more awake now and uh, they're like ready to do you know, different activities. So they're, they're having a good time. So I think that was probably the best part. I'm retired now, but I still work out every day. Anytime I get an opportunity, so it's very important. And I'm here to support you guys and being here. Uh, it, it's always important, one, you know, to give back uh, to the community. You know, I always even talk to kids all the time about giving back. You know, even with, with your parents. You know, your parents go and give you school clothes and uh, buy you all these nice things. It's always important to give back to your parents, too. Like going to school, make good grades. That will make parents very happy. So it's very important to the uh, big organization, players such as myself, to give back to them. I think it gives the kids at the inner city an opportunity to just experience something different. Um, I guess it gives them an opportunity to see um, different people, different walks of life, different cultures. And basketball is a great way to expose them to those different. The different cultures and the different ways. I think basketball is one of those universal sports that it doesn't matter, it just brings people together. We are here to uh, to do something bigger than ourselves, to get out of the community and uh, help the kids. Uh, it's the virtual clinics out here in Camden, New Jersey, and we're going to set up some basketball stations to uh, showcase uh, skills uh, and life lessons. Yeah, with our move to Camden, I think uh, part of our initiative is to invest in Camden. The Croc Center is such a staple. It's been for the past almost two years now in the city of Camden. We want to have a presence here now and going forward. I think think big. Think really big. You're going to be thinking anyway, so you might as well think big. Uh, <laughs> I, I always aspire to, to be something, to be something big. And what I did, which I can tell you guys, all I go home, Get yourself a big poster board. Cut out the magazine exactly what you want. Put it on that poster board and I promise you guys, work hard toward it and everything. Years down the road, you're gonna look back on that poster board and everything you put. And that, that's uh, something that I did myself. I look back on my poster board and my dreams and my goals and I achieved every single one of them. So good luck, good luck with your journey. So, 
Uh, everyone on here, I'm sure you guys are on social network. Uh, you're all going to start getting your Instagram, your Twitters. I want to be your mentor. You guys message me. I'll be more than happy to answer every single question you guys have for me anytime. If people want to tell you you can't do this, and some days you're going to feel like you, 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 you don't, you're not going to make it, but trust me, I'm not that big, I'm not that tall. If I can play a long time in the NBA and, and never give up, you got to do the same thing. So you got to take care of your body first, you got to take care of your mind. And then you're, I, I didn't grow up far from here. Uh, right over in Philadelphia, I was born and raised in North Philadelphia. I went to Dobbins. Uh, my wife is from Camden, New Jersey. Hot it up. Yeah, my wife went to Camp Todd, right here in New Jersey. Um, but, you know, this is important. It's hot outside. I'm going to tell you guys, I played over 11 years in the NBA. It's important that you train and you work out when it's hot in the summertime. We can all be sitting up here in the kitchen right now, playing video games, on our phone. But if you want to become a pretty good basketball player or a great athlete, We'll be in great health, you have to get out and you have to prepare. Up here for the Virtua Champion Basketball Clinic with yep. the Sixers, the Sixers Flight Squad. My name is Hans. My name is Philadelphia. I'm Dinksburg. We yep. are members of the Sixers Flight Squad. Yep. Today we're just teaching your kids a little bit about dance and how to dance. And how to dance. Right how to dance. 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 Working their core. That's what we're here today. Get the hype. Yep. Check us out on Instagram at Flight Squad, at the Philadelphia, at Dinksburg. It's live. We're here at Camden. Best book. Send it by Virtue Book. You already know. That's how we get um, I think for the kids, uh, they'll benefit the most just from seeing, you know, and hearing from all the, the different people, from the coaches uh, to the former players, um, people that have done it. You know, a lot of these uh, guys that we bring, they were, you know, kids just like these kids growing up in cities, different cities, different struggles, um, and with hard work and preparation and setting goals and, you know, achieving those goals, you can, you know, it's proof that you can do anything you want, no matter where you come from, no matter where your neighborhood, your background, family situation, all those things are things that, you know, uh, have been proven time and time again that you can't overcome with hard work. And so our challenge to you, we're grateful for the virtuous partnership that helped and you maintain sleep, hydration, etc. will be important to you know. But I hope when you go off the courts in the playgrounds and the gyms, that we all remember our environment. We are from Greater Philadelphia, and this is our home. I wish you well. Maybe one day you can come for me. Seeing some of the, the kids' faces, obviously they get so excited to, to participate in clinics like this. And, um, it's awesome to, to work down here with Virtua and the Sixers and uh, just help out the different kids. It's the first thing that's important to have the Second thing, what's amazing is it, it matters to people around you. So you gotta look around you and say, am I surrounding myself with people who are good, who have good values, who do the right things, who make the right decisions, who make me feel good about myself? So you gotta look around and decide, like, am I surrounding myself with people who are gonna support me and love me and challenge me and hold me accountable and make me reach for those dreams? And the third thing, Probably the simplest of all. Any idea what it is? Any idea? You gotta work hard. Anytime you can spread the right message, one of health, one of competition, one of discipline, that type of message, no matter who is giving it, for the kids of this age especially, we hope resonates and can help them just be a little bit better off than before they arrive. 
<laughs> she like there's a positive influence. They can obtain anything they want to obtain. That's the biggest thing. A lot of these kids didn't know that they could become such they could become teachers, they could become presidents, they could become lawyers, they could become doctors. They didn't know unless somebody tell them. And they would tell them. Well, when you get a chance to come to Camden, this is this will be our home for decades to come. We're building an incredible training complex, which will house not only our incredible basketball team, the Sixers, but also our entire organization. And so we have a chance to come to the Croc Center, which is, it's the best community center I've ever walked in. It's spectacular and beautiful, but what separates it more than anything else is the people. And it's a place that the kids at Camden can come and find some health and wellness and exercise and sense of community. And so we're here to do our small part and hopefully make the world a little bit better. We'll receive the following items. A drill string bag. A water 